Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can create an abstract coffee stain piece of art. But you don't have to use only coffee. All right, here we go. on the edge of the cup. You really don't need a lot. And you could also take a little bit, just splash it onto your paper. You can drag it if you need to. Now, you can leave that there like that and let it dry, okay? You have to let it dry for some time. And here's another one that I did with the food coloring. I also dragged some of that color. Please make sure you have something on, um, on your table to protect it. Alrighty? And now we wait for it to dry. I moved my papers um, off that wet newspaper and put uh, put them on something a little bit drier and hopefully that they will dry a little bit sooner than later and if you're a little bit more eager then please take a blow dryer and use that it'll help speed up the process and don't forget you can even use more than one type of stain on your paper. I can see a little bit of coffee came over there, which is fine. Um, and this one has a little bit of a, the, the purple dye, the purple food stain, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's okay. I'm looking forward to working on these actually. All right, so I need to speed up this drying process because I really want to get to work on our stained paper. We have success. Dry and dry. All right, time to get to work. All right, so here's the best part. Um, getting started on the project. I like this one um, because the um, food coloring left a little light blue edge, uh, and I just love how that looks. All right, so what we're doing is we are going to include types of lines within our artwork. Um, so you could use all kinds of lines in order to do this. You can use loop-de-loops, straight lines, such as vertical or horizontal, um, diagonal, zigzags, curved lines, bumpy lines, wavy lines, um, all types of lines and if you don't want to do that and you want to just stick with a contour line remember a contour line is a line that goes around an object you can do, do that and just keep repeating and repeating um, or you could do something that I like to call a continuous contour line and it will look like more of a maze so um, I like to start in the center and mark, work my way out and um, I am using a Sharpie. 
And for the center, I'm gonna make a continuous contour line. Okay. Nice and simple. And here I'm just going to make my contour line, the line that goes around an object, and I'm gonna repeat it a few times. Try not to keep your lines too far away from each other. So if you have a large gap in between, add in another line. It can be any kind of a line if you wish. everybody this is it not bad it looks pretty cool and I'm gonna show you some other examples that I made this time with um, the coffee stains okay looks really neat doesn't it okay these are contour lines they just kept going around each other. Here's the continuous contour line. Again, you don't really have to add too much um, of the stain to your paper. And the last one, similar to the first. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing yours.